Hello folks, Fuzz here, welcome to another video in our Dragon Quest XI series. And today we're going to be taking on a quest, so side quest number 4, which is actually called It Takes Two to Tango. And it's just outside the church in the foothills area that we finished off in the last numbered uh, episode. And we're going to go ahead and speak to this person right here. And he seems interested in Eric, and in particular his battle abilities. So this is a quest that's basically going to introduce us, you've probably already used it already anyway, but introduce us to the pet power system. And what we're going to have to do, what he's going to ask us to do here, is to perform a pet power in the course of battle. And he wants us to use the real decoy ability as well while we're in that pet power state. So we do get a gold chain reward, it is recommended that you do do this quest. And it's actually not too hard, the actual concept of it. It's just about being a little bit patient while we fight monsters in order to enter pep state. So there we go, we've gone ahead and accepted the quest here. And I would recommend, since we're going out into the area here, that you basically fight monsters and collect some treasures and that as you do. And eventually the pep state is going to go ahead and pop for you. So what I'm going to start with is just checking out the map here, uh, because there are a few treasures I'm going to show you how to grab as well. We're going to start by heading out into the big open area uh, that you can see. You can also use your steed, but there's probably not much point since you're not going to be wanting to ram into enemies. You are actually going to want to uh, be attacking them. And don't forget you can actually attack enemies in the field for a kind of preemptive strike type thing. And this is my first battle with Eric. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and choose fight here. You can go ahead and alter the tactics if you want to. So the way this is going to work, everything is turn based as you know from the previous battles we've been engaged in. But your party members are going to do their own thing. But you can however select the tactics that they're generally going to follow in battle. Such as whether you want them to be more defensive, more offensive, more curative or whatever the case may be. So there's our first Bodkin archers defeated. And Eric has joined the party at level 5. I'm not sure if it's always level 5 that he joins or whether that's based on your other party member's level as well. But I'm assuming it's the former. But I could be wrong. So let me know in the comments section if you know the answer to that. I did do a little bit of grinding with the hero beforehand and got him to level 6. So as you can see, as we start to get more party members here... Uh, combat becomes a little bit more complicated. Now, right now, of course, it hasn't. Uh, it is just a case of one-shotting most of these enemies. But we do have more options at our fingertips, so to speak, with the tactic system. There's just no need to really use it as of yet. But eventually there will be. Okay, so I'm going to skip ahead here now uh, until I enter pep state or I'll come across some items that I think you're going to want to grab. <laughs> I've actually gained... Quite a bit of experience, done a lot of battles, but still haven't entered pep state. Anyway, this is where I am on the map. And there's an item we can grab just over here. So some cotton top there. And if we just head back around this corner, we can find a rope. Which we can also head up towards the top here. Just for a small area, but there is an item we can grab. Uh, actually a couple of items, I think. So some herbs. So that's interesting, we have to cut them down before we grab them there. Okay, I think that's everything. Yep, nothing else to pick up. Right, so I'll carry on fighting enemies then, and maybe even move along to some uh, other items to show you. Okay, so there we have it. What happened was, Eric popped into pet power in the last battle, and in this one, Fuzz has entered into uh, pet power as well. So I'll just kill this last, uh, second to last monster here. And then when it's Eric's turn, We'll go to pet powers and use the real decoy skill. So this won't show up unless both heroes are in pet mode. But they should both go into it, you know, relatively close to one another anyway. And once we've cast the ability, we will need to end the battle in order for the quest objective to update. That looks very good. Okay, so now we can basically head back to the uh, quest giver here and hand that one in. But before we do that, there we go, look just to tell you that you have completed the quest, you get that little notification. There's an item over here we can nab, 
a little sparkly thing on the floor here. Uh, and also, I think there's something we can go and mine, so it might be worth going to do that while we're here. Right, a few items to grab then before we finish up for the day and hand the quest in. So, in this kind of island section over at the west of the map, there's this blue sparkly we can grab. Uh, for a beast burn, I think that was, before we got rudely pushed into battle. And before we leave this section, we can go over the other side for some automine. Now, you can see these bigger saber cats around here. You can certainly beat them in battle, but just be a little bit cautious. They are quite a bit stronger than the cub counterparts. Okay, they will consistently do... Probably about 14 to 17 points of damage in a single hit. So be prepared to use healing and or medicinal items. Healing magic, I meant them. Uh, so there's some copper ore we can pick up. And once we've grabbed both of those, so the copper ore and the sparkler that was over on this side. We're going to head down to the previous level. And also continue over to the west. I believe there's another item we can pick up over here. Yeah, a treasure chest. And you'll want to get this one. Uh, if it's what I think it is. Yeah, see the strength. So that will permanently improve the strength stat of a character that you use it on. And that's pretty much it actually. So we've collected a load of optional stuff from this area. We're actually technically ready to move on to Heliodor now. Heliodor. Uh, but we do want to pop back, don't we, to hand that quest in. So let's do that. Okay, we'll go and tell the quest giver here the good news. So he seems fairly happy, and of course we had a good go at using pet powers, especially with more than one party member. Okay, and as you can see, some pet powers, as we were told, will actually require a full complement of party member in battle of three. But there we go, the quest is complete. And as we saw at the start, we're going to be getting that gold chain, which we now have. So let's just have a brief look at that before we finish for the day. And Eric, who needs another accessory here, can certainly make use of that one. It boosts health, along with defence and charm as well. Not too shabby at all. And we've got a nice bit of experience on the way. I mean, like, in-game experience. So, gained a couple of levels, which is always a bonus. Alright then, folks, well, thanks for stopping by today. I hope this video has helped you. And I'll see you next time for more Dragon Quest. Take care.